What's up, everybody? I'm gonna check focus again, because I forget to do that. Okay, great, we're good. I don't know why I do that, I just like forget to do it. I get like so focused on getting everything set up. Fixing key light there. Looks good to me. What's up everybody? Welcome back to this. I, cheers, cap off your lenses everybody. Yikes. Been a couple days since I've done like a talking head type video. This, got this. I have made it the subject of at least two videos now. If you are new here, this is my first feature film script. It is what I am working towards getting into production either this year or next year. And that means there's a lot of development that still needs to be happening. Um, I make daily videos about this, about making this happen. And so last night I read through this in one sitting and that's how I prefer to read screenplays if at all possible. It doesn't interrupt the flow. It gives me a good idea of how this might play as a movie. And reading through my own script for the very first time was pretty enlightening. Uh, I had a lot of thoughts immediately after. I had a lot of thoughts during. Uh, some great, some not so great. There were a lot of moments in there that I was like, ah, that's not as good as I thought it was when I wrote it. <laughs> so today we are gonna go over some of the main questions that I am asking myself to get the ball rolling on revisions. These questions are things that people have asked me about short film scripts um, that we've been developing over the past couple weeks and months. Um, I've got a crew of people that we are working on making some shorts together and so these are some great questions that people have asked me that they get you thinking harder, they get you really putting yourself in the mind of the audience, not in the mind of you, the protagonist of this story. So we're gonna jump into that so that we can make better stories. Today we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions. These are the seven questions to make your stories better. Up first, number one. Man, I really kicked it off with the best one. This is my favorite question. What do you want the audience to feel? This is a great question to ask yourself about the overall story, but also on a scene to scene basis. If you go through and you go, what should the audience feel for this event, this moment, this character thing, and you break that down, you can start to look at, is that accomplished in the way that it is currently? And I think that's a great way to start revisions because it's a really broad thing. And I think when you're, especially when you're doing your first round of revisions, it can be so easy to get into the nitty gritty of like, well, grammatically that's not correct, or I should go through and capitalize things or whatever. And I don't think that's actually helpful. I think you should be looking bigger picture. And that's one of those things that like, am I hitting the emotional core that I was hoping to hit? And if I'm not, how can I make that better? That's a great first question to be asking. Number two, where is it slow? And follow up to that bonus question, why is it slow? There are points throughout my story where I was like, ooh, this is, they're still just like talking about nothing. Why is that? Why did I do that initially? Why are they doing that? Does that make sense for them? And just taking note of those writing them in a notebook, writing it in the margins. I think it's good to like kind of point things out and then go, okay, why? And what would make this better? You don't need to sit down and write that scene immediately, but maybe jot some things into the margins of your script and then you can go back and say, okay, today I'm gonna work on this scene. Um, but that's a good initial question to ask yourself. 
All right, number three. What are the parts that do work? I think this is important because especially a first draft, it's so easy to look at your story, your script and be like, God, this sucks. Like this is bad. And that's to be expected. So it's really good, I think, and, and beneficial to look at what is working. What scenes did you love? What are the scenes that you don't really want to change at the moment? Um, because that's an encouraging thing. And I think being encouraged when going through your first round of revisions and really throughout the entire revising process, staying encouraged, staying excited about things is very, very, very beneficial and very helpful because otherwise you can get depressed and annoyed about it and not want to actually finish the revisions. The follow-up to that is why do you like those scenes and can you do more of that? You might like a scene because it's just an explosive scene and like it's a, a big argument and it works. That's great. You probably can't infuse that throughout the whole thing because it doesn't make sense. That's an important dramatic moment. But if you like it because there's some character things that are working really well, there's some really good banter, you might be able to build more of that in earlier on in the script. I noticed that a lot in my script where the second half of the story clicked a little bit better. And I think it's because I knew what I was writing by that point. Whereas the first half, I was still figuring out the tone, figuring out the way the characters spoke, figuring out sort of their connection and chemistry by the, you know, end of the second act, I had kind of figured that out and so the rest of the story feels cohesive. So that's a great thing for me to know heading into revisions so I can add that in throughout. Number four, where is it driven by plot, not character? This does depend on the type of story you're writing. However, I think Often, the best movies, best scenes, best writing is all based in character, not in plot. There are some movies that just are plot-driven movies and they're great. However, a lot of my favorite movies are character-driven and the plot happens because of the characters. That is very true with this screenplay. So. Looking through my screenplay, I want to find the scenes that are just there because I needed to get to somewhere else. And when I find those, I need to find a way to either spin it so that it's more character driven, or I need to kill my darlings and cut that scene and replace it with something else that is character driven. That's gonna make a stronger character, but also a stronger plot and a stronger movie. So it's just all the way around, it's like a better way to make the script. So that's a big one for me. Uh, it's gonna be really hard. I'll get back to you in a month and let you know how it goes. Number five, I learned this one from key to storytelling on Instagram. Have I seen this scene or heard this dialogue before? And if the answer is yes, change it. This is a tough one. This one sucks because it's so easy and especially in your first draft, you're just trying to get through it. So you're writing fast and furious, you're writing to make three to 10 pages a day. Some of what you write is just ripped straight from every movie you've ever loved. And that's great because it got you to the finish line. Now your job is to look at that objectively and go, that is straight from Indiana Jones. Let's change it. This happened quite a bit in mine. There are tons of cliches. There's tons of dialogue that I've heard before there are arguments that feel like a movie argument. They don't feel like a real argument. And so 
going back and looking at those and going, what's the realistic way to do this same thing? Do the same thing that this scene is supposed to accomplish, but do it realistically. Do it originally. Do it in a way that hasn't been done before. Very, very tricky to do. Very hard to do. Again, pays huge dividends when you do it. So I'll let you know in a month how that goes. Number one, two, three, four, five, six. That's 16. Six for all you ASL people out there. What parts are essential and what parts are fluff? I touched on this earlier. There are parts that you wrote in your screenplay because you needed to connect the dots. You needed to get from point A to point B so that you could get to point C. I get it, I did it a lot in this screenplay. I knew I need 70 scenes, so I wrote 20 scenes and then I tried to connect those 20 scenes. You need to look at them objectively and go, is that a real thing that needs to be happening or is it a thing I wrote to fill pages? It's okay that you did it, not an issue, but now you have the work of figuring out how to make that scene important. So that might be the toughest one, probably. I'm saying this as a guy that's revising his first feature film screenplay. So take all of this with a, word, with a grain of salt. Now, number seven, and this is the hardest one. It's so hard, and sometimes you're gonna need other people to do this one with you. Is there a different version of this that I haven't thought of? I'm talking about the movie as a whole. Is there a storyline here that is different than what I think it should be? Is there a version of this character that is different than what I think it should be? There is always going to be a yes to that answer and it won't always be better. I think that's an important distinction to make. The other day I had a meeting with some friends and we talked through one of my short film scripts and I had a very clear idea of what I wanted this short to be. And by the end of a two hour conversation with all of them, we had completely restructured and reorganized what this story was. Not only what happens, but the world around it, the reasoning for everything was completely different. Most of the same events are in there, but we flushed it out so much better. And that wouldn't have happened if they hadn't come to me and said, hey, like we have some ideas of how to make this better, of how to add to this world and add motive for all of these characters. Um, and change the core of what it is initially that actually makes it stronger. And that came about by talking back and forth for two hours. I think you'll need to do that with your screenplay. I know I will. I know I will. That's the hope, that's the dream. We'll see how it does. All right, that's it. That's the tips, that's my course of action for the next month. Uh, it is February 3rd today, so I have 25 days to sit with this, to deal with this, to find a new version of this. And hopefully by the end of it, that version will be way better. Obviously, these tips are not the nitty gritty, they aren't super dialogue specific or, you know, how to phrase things, how to, you know, make sure that your formatting is correct, all of that stuff. This is how do I tell a better story? And I think I said it, if I didn't already say it in this edit, I am a first time screenwriter. This is my first time doing this. So take all of this with a grain of salt. Take some of these ideas, change them, make them better. Get rid of the ones that don't work for you, the ones that you think are bullshit. Love that. Please let me know what you do down below because I would love to hear about it. I am constantly looking for better ways 
to make this better. Because the goal here is to tell better stories, to change the way that we tell stories. And that's all I really care about. So, with that, do all the things YouTubers tell you to do. Notifications, subscribe, comments, like, comments, comments twice. And keep writing, keep telling stories. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.